So how the course will generally work is Tuesdays we'll be teaching you a lesson and Thursdays you'll be doing work keys. To date, we've graduated about 192 graduates. The program started back in 2008, due largely because of the advocacy of then Lieutenant Governor uh, Sally Peterson. She had a son who had disabilities and she had to go send her son out of state because nothing was available in Iowa. But because of Lieutenant Governor Peterson's advocacy and fundraising and knowledge of the university and networking with the president then and the provost, she got the program started. So here we are in year 11 and we have about 48 students uh, coming. 18 of them come from Iowa, but 30 of them come from 17 different states. We're just thrilled to have the relationship that we have with the REACH program. It started a few years ago with Danny Tyson, uh, who was an integral part of our program for a number of years. And that continues with Jack Devlin, who is uh, really just a terrific young man who uh, immediately you know, ingratiated himself with the players, with the program. Uh, his first year, he was involved to a large degree, but uh, really wanted to get acclimated academically, socially, uh, and this year has really, uh, we've really increased his responsibilities, and the relationships now with the players have gone on for two years, and that's also great to see. <laughs> the ability to, to, to be independent um, and, and to to, to you know, live you know away from home, and and you know we have a um, you know a very active family, a very sports oriented family. So there was always schedules and things like that, and games to attend. But to see Jack, you know, continue his kind of his his passion for being around people, and and obviously the sporting events here at the University of Iowa, but then also um, you know manage his own schedule, if you will, um, you know to 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 do all the things he likes to do because he's a pretty active guy. My love for sports and basketball really just. Um, started with um, my dad, um, you know, working in uh, basketball as a broadcaster, and and just it picked up from from there. So I fill up um, the cups um, with water during practices. I um, swipe the for um, like during practice, like when one of the players falls down, and and really help out in any way that that I can. It kind of feels like I'm, I'm the little brother that that they love to you know mess around, and so I I like it. You know, we have a lot of fun with him because his uncle, of course, is an assistant at University of Minnesota. So he and I are constantly, you know, giving Ed a hard time. He's a good friend of mine as well. Uh, but just a tremendous amount of Iowa ties with his family, you know, primarily with the Conroy family. And uh, we're just really excited about our association with that program, but in particular our association with Jack Devlin. <laughs> I was just happy that I actually um, made the shot because obviously it, it, the first time that I tried making a half course shot, I um, I went one for like s seven or something like that, and then and like that video just shows that I went like one one for three. So I was you know thankful that I actually um, made it. And the response was like unbelievable. No one loves uh, sports more than Jack and being around him. It's just uh, he uh, there's there's no game that uh, that he's not enthused to go to go watch and just he just has always loved being around the competition and uh, and the guys that play you know or girls that play sports and so. Um, you know, forever thankful you know, I am and, my, and our family is, and I know my sister and, and, and Matt, uh, for what uh, Coach McCaffrey and his players have done for Jack. It, uh, it's way more than a home away from home for him. You know, he, he really, you know, that's what he knew his whole life growing up, and now to see him find a, you know, a, a new team to be really an, an integral part of, and they have made him, you know, feel at home, and he is, uh, he's a Hawkeye through and through. You're talking about young, young men, young women who grew up loving sports 
play in sports, loving the association with it, have different roles and responsibilities within the program. And the fact that they can continue that at the college level, because so many are involved at the high school level, and then it kind of stops a lot of times. And it shouldn't stop, it should continue. And that's what the REACH program does. And uh, we're just proud to be a part of it. The Heartland is brought to you by Mediacom. Today's broadcast is powered by Extreme. Feel the power of amazingly fast internet up to one gig. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. The Hawks are in the Twin Cities where it's actually balmy for February. And while we won't compare Iowa basketball to the United States Marines, uh, they are the proud and the few. The ranks have thinned further on this roster while Cordell Pemsel is welcome back. Uh, sharp shooting guard C.J. Frederick, uh, we're sorry to say, will not play today because of that sprained ankle suffered at Indiana as the Hawkeyes try and rebound from a Thursday night 89-77 loss to the Hoosiers. To Craner, he bounces right of the lane to uh, Garza, jump hook, takes two laps around the iron and down through. Tucson gets it to the wing to Connor McCaffrey. We play on, minute and a half gone. Here's Garza, step back jumper is good. From the, foul, uh, from the uh, baseline left, two for two is Luca Garza, four nothing aisle. Here is Craner. Shot fake, steps inside the three-point line, now has guards in the lane. He squirms free, shot up and good. He barreled right through a double team, 6-0 Iowa. How good is Luca Garza? Continues to just pick up where he left, left off the last game. Three for three is Garza. He's got all six Hawkeye points. Here's Craner. A bounce high post left to Garza. He's looking for an outlet. Nobody's open, so he drives inside, scores again. Garza eight, Minnesota nothing. What are they going to do with Luca Garza here? Jump hook by Luca is good. Patty caked it up there, flipped it up there underhand as he drove underneath the square, reverse motion, and uh, I guess you could call that a, an underhand hook shot. Is anybody in, in the country, a big man, playing any better than Luca Garza? No. Gophers are just three for ten, but trail by only three. Bakari Evelyn, shovel pass to Pemsel, layup good. Tucson, a corner jumper, good. How big is that? Joe huge. curls in a three, and they gave him that shot. They did give him that shot. That's why it's huge, Gary, that he steps up and shot it with confidence. Here's Ryan, driving inside, scores off the glass, and muscled his way around Omersa. Now five to shoot. Evelyn gets to the basket, drives inside, throws it off the square, and it goes down. As he hopped through the lane, and shot back across his body. 28-21 Gophers. Hawks with six to shoot, trying to find an open jumper. Greener, step back, hits it. Falling away from Oturo. Here's Kreiner with a catch inside. He got fouled. A little delayed whistle. Nice play. Scores, and he's going to get a free throw. So Ryan Kreiner has become a Iowa's top scorer inside. Got to get a stop here to complete the package. Four seconds to go. Carr forces a three. It is no good, and Kreiner with a rebound. Well, good close to the first half. It'll be Iowa basketball to start the second half. Bobby, that's that's a good beginning. Yeah, it is a good beginning, but too many second chance points and uh, also got to take care of the basketball and play without fouling here if you can. Garza with a catch right of the lane. Spins to the baseline, jump hook is good. He picks up right where he left off. Unbelievable, that move is patented. Luca Garza fake to the middle over the right shoulder and then spin back, keep the pivot foot down. Garza muscles his way in the paint, drop step, shot block, gets it back, up and in. Luca stays with it, 35-30, Minnesota. Ryan drives into Demir, drop step, shot up, good. Just overpowered him with that strength. Bounce pass left of the lane to Garza. Double team. He finds an open Evelyn. We need a three. Good. Akari Evelyn. And a wonderful find by Garza. Hawks can tie it with a long range jumper. 41 38. Here's a skip pass inside. Pemsel lays it up and in. And we talk about Garza's hands. Cordell's got great soft hands. How about the feed from Connor McCaffrey? Top of the key. Just skipped it down low with the left hand with the bounce pass. Garza right back out there. McCaffrey right back into Garza, jump hook in the lane, no good. Luca gets the rebound, scores, and foul. It's like he's on a trampoline, isn't it? He, he just keeps his hands up. 
Garza inside. Scores off the glass again. Oh, he is uh, lifting weights in there now, isn't he? Ten to shoot. Connor, step back three. Good. I'd say that was well timed. That works too. Connor just a step back three to tie this thing up. 47 all. Here comes Minnesota hunting more points. Three coming from the left wing. Good. By Peyton Willis. Timeout, Iowa. Here's a skip pass. Baseline right. Garza jump hook. Good. 55 51. Lucas over 20 points again. It's been a pretty good lineup here for Iowa. Garza 4 3. Good. Money. Sugar sweet. Luke uh, Garza has brought the Hawks back to within one. Akari awfully drops through the first free throw. Akari fires it up and in. Nothing but net. Never a doubt. Iowa by two. 57 55. Here's Carr, crossover dribble. Throws up a three, Kreener blocks it, but right to Arturo. He falls down, and a foul, and a foul called on Iowa. That's ridiculous. Luca, what, he was just standing there. Oh my, oh my, oh my. 3.8 seconds to go in regulation. The Hawks are gonna have time to at least get a shot off. Free throw is uh, in and out, no good. Iowa rebounds, Connor McCaffrey is fouled, and will shoot free throws. On the way, no good. Off the front of the rim. Now make it. Put Iowa up three. 57 55. Here's the free throw. It's good. Connor McCaffrey. Now you got a guard for 2.9. They get it into Carr. He's going to have to let it go from half court. It's way short. Game over. And the Hawkeyes have rallied back from eight down in the second half to defeat the Minnesota Golden Gophers. 58 55. A great win. <laughs> Good Saturday evening. Welcome into Carver Hawkeye Arena and MediaCom Map as we get ready for the final Big Ten dual meet of the regular season. One more duel after this. Shot there by Ritter. Reshot attempt there by Warner. Gets around behind. They're up on their feet. Picks him up and throws nice. him down for the two. No real move. Now Warner up to his feet. Side headlock attempt by Ritter. Trying to get out. We limp arm and get the two point reversal. 13 to four major decision for 133 pounds. Austin DeSanto makes his way back to the lineup. First time since injury defaulting against Penn State. Santo in on a shot and comes up around behind. Well, he's in two. a sweep and he's coming over the head trying for a cradle. Santa goes back into that carry. Dryden tries to roll his head through. Out. He's gonna try to take him to his back. He gets his head out, keep driving him over there. See that? He's gonna keep driving him over, he's getting some ear falls. Murin taking on number four, Mitch McKee. The dual meet last year, McKee winning by a score of 5-3. And then at the uh, Big Ten Championships, McKee winning by a score of 2-1. to one. There's a nice Snap. double leg and by... We get into the double That's two. and take him down. Gorgeous, gorgeous double leg right there by Max Buren. 30 seconds left and sudden victory one. McKee drops for a shot. We, we reshoot, shot get to the leg, cut two, across, drive it through. Two, two, six, six, two. two. That a boy Buren! That a boy Buren! Yeah, it felt really good. Uh, I'm kind of mad at myself for celebrating like that. Just because, uh, I mean, I tell myself I don't want to celebrate until I get my goal at Nationals. But, uh, I mean, I just, it was a kind of a big relief. It felt really good. And, uh, I mean, awesome team win, too. And there's Lugo with the head of the inside single. Has it up to his feet with it. Trying to come down to the ankle here. Now he trips him up, gets a two-point takedown. Great wrestling there by Pat Lugo. Man, that was some good transitions there. A shot. shot. Down to the ankle. Comes up into there a whip is. over. That's it. And this is going to be tight. It's over. Alex Marinelli. It's over. Oh, and he oh lost my gosh. it. I cannot believe he got off there. 21 6 will be the final. Technical fall. He's so coming around, blocking that knee. Now he's got the cradle, cradle thrown in. Up. Getting near falls. That's tight. And That's a fall. Dog. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. Woo I told you, as soon as he started cutting the corner, this is where he is good. Hawks win. How about that for an ending? 35 to six. Hawks are your Big Ten dual meet champions. Big win. Onward. Oklahoma State next. We got, I think, sole possession of first place in the dual meet season for the Big Ten. So we go upstairs, we get some t-shirts and some hats, take a couple pictures, and move on. And I don't say that lightly. I say that because that's what 
You do. Good job. Good job. Good job. Awesome. We got Oklahoma State on Sunday. Yep. Good job. The Heartland is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Avoid breakdowns in coverage with U.S. Cellular. High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. High V proudly supports the Iowa Hawkeyes. This is not an easy place to play. Now, the crowd is right on top of you. The band is right behind uh, the north basket where the Hawkeyes bench is. So have to get off to a good start. Yeah. Doyle racing in the paint. Awkward left-handed layup. How did she get that to go? I don't know, but that was pretty uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, I thought this was a great win for us, especially we got down early. You know, Harden comes out, hits three threes in about the first three or four minutes. And then it's pretty quiet after that. I thought our defense in the second quarter was outstanding. Um, I love to see 23 assists on only 10 turnovers, and then we shot the ball well, really well from every area except for the free throw line. And here's a steal by McKenzie Meyer, ahead to Doyle, left-handed layup, two for Kathleen Doyle. And really nice lead by McKenzie Meyer to give Doyle space to run underneath it. I think especially on the road, defense is so important because you never really know how your shooting's gonna be um, at another gym, so. We just really came out focusing on defense, and um, we just worked really hard and rebounded really well, and um, Amanda had a few blocks in there, so it was really great to see that. Doyle for three, got oh. it! Huge three from <laughs> Kathleen Doyle. With two seconds left to go on the shot clock. Yeah, I'm really proud of how we fought. Uh, they came back at us in that third quarter, and we did a good job of staying composed on the road and really staying together and just keep pushing, and we really executed well down the stretch. And that'll do it. That's a win. 83-71. Certainly a terrific crowd on hand. Pink uniforms for the Hawkeyes. And it's bounce back time. Inside. Sonano layup good on the left block. Terrific pass by Kathleen Doyle from the left wing. Well, good win. You know, we won every quarter today. I like to see that. Um, four people in double figures. I like that balance. We shot the ball well, really from every area. I think the number one thing was the great fan support we had today. I mean, bouncing back from Thursday, we really needed that. And for that many people to come out and support us, um, we are really, really thrilled with that and, and can't thank our fans enough. And a three-pointer top of the key by Gabby Marshall. Yeah, it was definitely fun to be back on our home court, and we had such great attendance today, and uh, we always do, really, and we just have the best fans in the nation, so it was really fun to get back out there in front of them, and yeah, it was definitely definitely a good bounce-back game. Doyle sends it cross-court to McKenzie Meyer for three. Back to Warnock for three. Got it. So Warnock's still perfect from three-point land. It was the passes for my teammates. Uh, you can't really hit four open threes if you don't get the ball. So they had some really, really good passes <laughs> and drove and collapsed the defense and kicked it out. So. But a big victory for the Hawkeyes. Yeah. Hawks win it 97-71 over the Wisconsin Badgers, now 21-5 and on the year. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team by raising money for every free throw made by the Hawks all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds will benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program right here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa.